Welcome back to the Brand Personalization Video Marketing Course. Today is September 12th, 2011. Yesterday we covered how to deal with negative comments. And since yesterday was September 11th and the 10 year anniversary, it was a little hard to cover. But we got through it. And um, I've spoken with several YouTubers, you know, since yesterday, and unfortunately, negative comments are going to be a necessary evil. So, it's just all in how we deal with it, and, you know, dissecting trolls from constructive criticism, and neither are easy to deal with, but after a while, it becomes low acceptable. So, I'm... Um, you know, the more that you put out quality con content, the less likely you're going to get comments like that. But the longer that you are producing content, the more likely it will happen. So that's why, you know, closer to the middle of the course, I wanted to go ahead and cover that. Um, we're going to go into, you know, creating uh, um, videos that engage and you know things that you can do to you know spark engagement and things like that and some general tricks or you know at least tips or guidelines to follow whenever you are making your videos but before we get into that direction i want to go ahead and prep you for you know possibilities because i don't want anyone to you know be a little nervous you know getting into things and then you know, have a few negative people, you know, deter you. So, that's the reason why I wanted to go ahead and cover that yesterday. And today, we are going to cover annotations. You know, basically interlinking your videos. And there's a lot of fun stuff that you can do with annotations. And the more popular some uh, channels are, the more that they push it to the limits a little bit. Like you'll see, you know... You know, other videos playing at the end of their videos or, you know, um, you know, different links to, you know, their channel or to subscribe, things like that. And there's some more advanced methods. Um, you know, some of them I'm not sure if we're able to do as a normal user, at least within the terms of service. So because of that, I'm going to be keeping everything very basic because I know of a few methods like to um, you know, link to external websites and things like that but I know that that's limited to um, channel partners but there are other ways around things but like I said I don't know if it's against the terms or not and because of that I'm not going to cover it if I find out that it's okay to show then I'll make sure to cover it in a later update Till then, we're going to keep everything as straight and narrow because we don't want anything to happen to you or your account. So, anyway, just wanted to put that out there. Um, before we get into today's lesson, just wanted to cover a few updates real quick. I went ahead and changed some of the um, channel colors. It was black and gray, which didn't contrast well with the background. So I went ahead and changed all of the words to um, purple, and then I left all of the links blue. So it kind of gives it a nice contrast. And coming down, you can see you know, the difference between the you know, purple and the blue. And another addition I put on there was I put a little friend tree. So I called it a ladder. I don't know if I want to call it a ladder or a tree or whatever. But I think I like tree better because it looks like the side of a Christmas tree. And if I get 10,000 friends on here, it's going to be just like Christmas. But we're already, you know, over halfway down it. So we just now busted a 1,000 friends not too long ago, and we're almost at the 1,500 mark. And another big milestone was we just hit 5,000 um, upload views. And that's getting ready to skyrocket because I was monitoring um, Twitter and a few other social networks. And 
you know, even going to some of the social mention sites, and we're starting to get out there. So I think that's pretty awesome because pretty much the only advertising I have done outside of YouTube is just you know posting the links on uh, my Facebook channel whenever everything goes up. I haven't even been posting to the blog yet. So I wish I could, but I've been busy with clients and everything else, and lately I haven't had time for time. Now, today is going to be a little difficult to show you a few things, mainly because I'm going to be looking at the big screen, but talking into the mic. So you're going to you know, see my head turning and maybe my voice going away a little bit because I'm working over here and talking over here and... I'm sure you've heard it in other videos and you just didn't know what was going on. And that's another reason why you hear me say, um, or, you know, <laughs> a lot. Just because it's just nervous filler. So, I, one thing I wanted to show you before I get into that. I want to show you um, the main channel, too. Because on the main channel... I just did that all purple, and I'm really not sure, you know, which way I like best yet. So if you have any opinions or recommendations, because right here you can see how it looks with everything all purple. And then, as contrast, here it is purple, and with blue links. So I kind of think the blue links might be a little bit better. You know, just because people automatically associate blue with something clickable. So, anyway. So. Let's get this going, shall we? Now with our updates, before we completely run out of time. Our channel views are up to 1,146. Total upload views, 5,451. Yay. Subscribers, 154. And then 1,196 friends. And just so you can get an idea of what 1,200 friends look like, I'll just scroll down real quick. And if you're not on this list yet, what are you waiting for? Either subscribe or add me as a friend, whatever you need to. But I want as many people as possible to show up on this because this is by the community, for the community, and I want everybody to be a part of it. If you're already on here, share it. You know, I'm not, you know, one of those people at the end of each video, you know, click, subscribe, share, blah, 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 blah. But, considering this is going to be a course that a lot of people are going to be looking at, you know, I would like for you know, everybody to put their hands in the cement, so to say. It's almost down there. Okay. So now, let's get up there real quick. Okay, so now that we know what 1,200 friends look like and we have all the updates and all that. By the way, if anybody wants to volunteer some time to help me get everything up on the blog, I will not turn it down. Just playing. Maybe. Okay. First thing you want to do, you can click on videos and playlist here. Or... Over here, you can click on the drop down. Click on videos. And I've been trying to do everything with you all. That's why annotations aren't on any of the videos except for the, um, the intro video. And that's just because where it's on several different channels, you know, I wanted people to be able to you know, just click straight through from the video. Now that I'm showing you all how to do this, and now that we only have five minutes left, it's going to be pretty basic, but I can go into it um, again. Um, basically, just click on 
edit info go over to annotations and I can cover audio swap and captions and all that stuff later on okay there's several different annotations that you can add on here the main things that you're going to want to do is link to a, another video or link to your channel or ask someone to subscribe so just to give you an inside view of how things look I'm gonna go into the first video real quick and then that way you can actually look at the annotations I've already set up and then I can explain them So you'll see down here on the bottom bar, you subscribe to channel, and there's a total of three of them. So if we come straight to this one, it'll say click to subscribe to main channel. And here's the options over here, so that way you can see what it looks like. You can drag and adjust the timing. And for the link, you can choose, is it a channel, playlist, video, subscribe, compose a message, video response upload, YouTube search query. Now out of all those only ones that I will usually use is the video, maybe the playlist. I'm, I might use a playlist since all of these videos are going in a playlist. Um, you know, channel. I'm mainly using the channel button to um, send people to the main channel so that way if there's questions that need to be answered and they don't want to be covered in the course then everyone's encouraged to go to youtube.com forward slash brand personalization and ask the question in the moderator. The subscribe button that's always good. You're seeing it come up again. So you basically you saw you know subscribe to the main channel then subscribe to this channel and you see how I did the overlay where it's just covering up my name. Now if this was embedded on a website or whatever the annotations don't show up and that's one of the reasons why I keep everything in the bottom because you know if I have an ad showing or something like that it's not going to be intrusive. Yeah, you know, I don't want the links you know all over the you know, video and be distracting or anything like that. And then I'll go ahead and show you the last annotation. This one is going to, you know, send people, you know, to the very first video in the course. Whenever you set everything up, you can drag and drop just like I can you know, stretch this out so that way it's going to start all the way back here you can move this bar so that way you can see exactly where you're at and where everything's going to start and everything once you play with it it's very simple um, real quick before we run out of time we have a minute left main thing to keep in mind is you know, paste your YouTube video here or if it's going to be a channel then you have your profile link here and here is where you adjust your text size Here's where you can change the letter color. And this is where you change your fill color. So I know I probably need to cover it in a little bit more detail, but of course, ran out of time. So I'll cover it again in more detail. Till next time, this is Dustin with Brand Personalization Radio.